What's up, is Ninja here? And we're making another Life is Strange. I'm doing it for the fourth five time. And that's time. Now oh, that brings back memories. Chloe and I loved the parade. <sighs> Justin is such a mellow dude. Trevor looks as happy as Dana did. Hey, Trevor. Holla, Max. By the way, I know you saw me in the dorm. Yeah, I saw you coming out of Dana's room. Yeah, and I finally had to tell Justin because, well, he was into her too. How did Justin react? I got him blazed. He was cool. Nobody has secrets in Blackwell anyway. See you in class, Max. What's up, Justin? Getting my coffee on before I cut class and destroy some rails. Shouldn't you be taking photos? I am always taking photos. I am a camera. <laughs> you cracked me up, Maxter. Of course I'm baked. So I'll laugh at anything. You should be studying, bad boy. So where's all your homework, schoolgirl? School. Speaking of buds, I saw your bro Trevor sneaking out of Dana's room. Trevor finally told me about him and Dana hooking up. He got there first, so I snooze and I lose. See you later, Max. It's like we act like we're not sitting in front of each other, right? Okay. That's funny. Our family never went well watching. It looks fun. Oh, go for a try. I got you, babe. <laughs> How apropos. But no fucking way. Whoa, Ken Kesey with Joyce? That's so perfect. <laughs> Forgot about the fishing wall of fame. Chemicals. Pretty sure that's Chloe. A gun. Some man staring at a window. Or a woman. A doe. A deer. And one for two. So some of that resembles those. That bone would actually a dog. So. Uh, right. hello? So Pardon why, but you're in my eyesight. Isn't everything in here with an eyesight? I don't care for your tone. You sound like Joyce. How does Joyce sound? Bossy and smartass. Like you. Joyce rules. I want to be exactly like her when I grow up. Looks like you're on your way. I've been coming to this dive for three years, and Joyce gives me shit like it's going out of style. That's how she rolls. That's why I worship her every move. Good. I can't wait to see you flipping greasy bacon in a diner when you grow up. Exactly like Joyce. Now pardon me while I get back to my coffee. Mm -hmm. Good. I don't feel like talking right now. I gotta yeah, deliver a load of breakfast to my stomach. Over now. Okay then. Can we not talk to Joyce? Hello, sir. Hi, young lady. You look a little lost. Just hungry and thinking about what to eat. Now, that is a real problem at the uh, Two Wells. I can never decide. Joyce's pumpkin pie or grilled mac and cheese? How well do you know Joyce? I know her delicious grub. Everybody at the station comes here. We take care of this place like it's our own kitchen. And Joyce, like she's our... Our mother. 
I guess you're friends with David Madsen. I wouldn't use that word. We know each other. Why do you ask? He kind of has a reputation at Blackwell. I have respect for David. He served his country. He found his calling at Blackwell. At the station, we're happy David is exactly where he is. <laughs> Not everybody can be a cop. So, you know Chloe? Sadly, we all know Chloe down at the station. <sighs> Poor Joyce. Just heard that Chloe even had a pot dealer in her room. That's not good. Anyway, hmm, that bacon sure smells good. Is she a friend of yours? I know her. Then you know she's a handful. She can be, but she can also be a good friend who shows up when you need her. Sounds like you're a good friend. I wish she would be a great daughter and not cause Joy so much stress. I have to go now. Enjoy your breakfast. By the way, one thing I can tell you for certain is to stay away from that RV outside. I usually stay away from sketchy parked vehicles. Wise policy. The guy who lives in it, Frank, is pretty sketchy himself. That's all I can say for now. I should finish up my coffee Why and get to work. Why so dark? Well, I like it being dark, but like... When I try to see on the screen from the recorder, my cash card it seems extra. What do you want? I feel like shit. Too much beer, so spare me, please. Just let me suffer quietly. Gotcha. Can I not speak to her? Fine, I'm just gonna sit down then. she is. A lovely young woman. How are you doing, Max? Hi, Joyce. It's nice to see you again. You look the same. <laughs> like I'm still a waitress at Two Whales after all these years. No, like you still look pretty. Nice save, kid. You're still smart. But not that smart. Now you get busted for smoking pot. <laughs> I heard the whole sordid story from David. I'm sorry this was how you had to meet him. He's a good man, no matter what Chloe says. Yeah, I'm sure. I don't even smoke, like, ever. It was almost an accident. It was very stupid. I'm, I'm sorry. Oh, it surprised me fierce. I was hoping you could be a good influence in her life now. I will be. Promise. I know things were hard for you and Chloe. I feel bad I didn't call. Now my folks are in Seattle, and I'm all alone at Blackwell. It's my karma. You did the right thing. You moved forward with your life. I did, after William passed on. Chloe? Chloe chose to stay angry. Anyway, I hope we see more of you. Chloe needs an old friend again. Joyce, I am so sorry about William. I have great memories of him. I'm glad, Max. That was his gift to She's us. Kind of Wonderful memories. That, Even if Chloe really doesn't nice. understand yet. Chloe understands. She just needs time. I know that sucks for you. Oh, she hit all the phases. Expulsion, running away, drugs, bad boys, tattoos, piercings, blue hair. <laughs> now she's got to rebel against her stepfather. I see why, I mean. Do you? He's not as much of a hard ass as you think. But you did tell him you had a joint, right? You took that responsibility? I did. And I am sorry. I don't want Chloe in any more trouble. Or me. Nobody's in trouble over a doobie, Max. And I admire that you took the heat for Chloe. Like a great friend. But Chloe does push David, and it's not fair. He paid his dues in a war. He does care about her, along with all the students at Blackwell. He cares about Kate Marsh? David mentioned her, but I stay out of his business. 
I won't patrol Black Whale, and he won't cook at the diner, you know? I saw him arguing with Kate. I thought you might know why. Nice try, Nancy Drew. But next to you, there's only one student I'm worried about. And she's not even in school anymore. So, now let's get down to the nitty gritty. What do you want to eat? I hate omelets. This guy's out there, I don't like eggs like that. Maybe scramble with cheese, maybe. But normally, no, I hate, I hate, I, I hate omelets. The last good Belgian waffle I had was here when I was 13 years old. So, bring it on. Now finish your coffee. Can I get up? Or... One Belgian waffle for the hungry girl, pronto. One Belgian waffle at 12 o'clock high. I love the delicious anticipation of breakfast. Nerd graffiti. Warren must have been here. The only thing that's changed on the menu are the prices. Wow. What's the actual prices or something? Like oh yes, black coffee. You will be mine. No, don't drink this it is now. a diner, not a bar. No beer? This is like fourth dimensional deja vu. I keep going back in time. I see I drank it. Order ready. The lighthouse looks so mysterious. I wish I could stay in this moment forever. I guess I actually can now. But then it wouldn't be a moment. Incoming! I can hear your stomach rumbling from here, Max. Here, you'll love this. I'm drooling like a baby. Still can't believe you're a woman. When I look at pictures of Chloe, ugh. Mm, speak of the devil. Mom and Max, together again. And Chloe looking for a free meal. You put your whole damn college fund on your tab. I'm treating Chloe for breakfast. Are you atoning for yesterday? Oh god, Mom, please do not give Max any shit for that. She apologized. I know she did. Max is a good girl. A woman. She's 18 now. Too old to get lectures from you or Sergeant Pepper. Call him David if you don't want to be lectured. You only get one damn slice of bacon a day. <laughs> you guys are still the same. Another reason to blow this town? What is this shit on the jukebox? Now that that's out of the way... Let's talk about your superpower. I don't have any explanation, and I can't explain why I saw that crazy fucking tornado. Come on, that's just a daydream. I want proof you can rewind time. This is all happening so fast. We'll start slow. Right here, now. Mm, I can tell you every single thing you have in your pockets. You have x-ray vision, dude? I don't even know what's in my pockets. Let me see. Okay, this Max. Impress me. Is punk. Gun, keys, gun. I know you have the gun in pocket. If it'll be so. Your car keys. Duh, way too easy. I need details. Describe my keychain. Skull, cheek, bullet, keychain, virtual plate, maybe a skull. A skull keychain for a punk like you. That was so wrong, Max. Okay, psychic girl. Let me show you what's actually in my pockets. That was beyond epic fail. You even made me want to believe you. Oh, wait, okay, Max. 
Study every item carefully and don't forget anything. Okay. Okay, Lana. Cigarettes. Seven cigarettes. Four to six pennies. Three quarters. And a nickel. I take it for town. How am I supposed to remember this? This is me telling you what's inside your pockets. Okay, Max, I'm hella ready. I'm pretty sure you have cigarettes on you. Yes, you know I'm a smoker. But how many cigarettes? Seven. Seven cigarettes. A superpower that allows you to count cigarettes. Cool. Amazing. Something else in my pockets? Keys. Your car keys. Duh, way too easy. I need details. Describe my keychain. Where's the panda? A cute robot panda keychain. Not bad, Supermax. You do have that Irish luck, Caulfield. What else? A parking ticket. You know me well. But what is the exact time I was busted? 10.34 a.m. Booyah! Max can tell time! Even a broken clock is right twice a day. Whatever the hell that means. Hmm. Oh, yeah, Some money. Clearly I'm rich as fuck. How much do I have? Oh wait, okay, huh. So 75. So that means 80. That means 86. 86 cents. That's right, living large in Arcadia Bay. Balls. I literally just got chills all over my neck. You have powers. I'll take that crap off the table, Chloe. Sure, Mom. How's the food, Max? Better than I remembered. Very good save. Man, I'm hungry like the wolf. Clearly. I'm freaking out about what just happened. You, you have to show me more, something way cooler so I will believe you without any doubt. I will predict the future. No way. Now, pay attention to everything that happens in the next few moments so you can dazzle Chloe with your mad power. Oops. Did you break another cup? Really? No refill for you. Shh. And now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? You're a dick. Don't slap me, bitch. Take your fight club outside. He started it. I'm finishing it. Is that all? Sure the hell better than that other garbage. What happened to I that? I think that jukebox is headed for Davy Jones's locker. So what are you waiting for? <laughs> I'm going to predict four events that will happen in the next 30 seconds or so. Joyce drops her plate and the truckers make fun of her. So what happens next?
The cop gets an emergency alert on his radio and his partner in the car leaves without him. Well, let's just see how this goes down. Justin and Trevor are fighting and Joyce breaks it up. This is getting good. Can't wait to see what happens. There wasn't a butterfly in it. A trucker didn't touch the thing. And a fly wouldn't freaking make a juice pot go crazy, so. The jukebox goes crazy as a cockroach crawls I don't know on. What Pretty to bizarro, the Max. But let's see if everything happens like you said. I honestly don't know what happened to this box. I just really guess on that one. By deduction. Oops. That is Did so Did you wrong. break another cup? Really? No refill for you. Shh. Now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my party? You're a oh, dick. so cool. Bitch. Kick your fight club outside. He started it. I'm finishing it. That is wild. Oh, we missed that. Fucking A. This is sure the hell better than that other garbage. I think our jukebox is headed for Davy Jones's locker. So what are you waiting for? Now, pay attention to everything that happens in the next few moments, so you can dazzle Chloe with your mad power. What did I do wrong? What did I do I'm going to predict The trucker drops his mug, and Joyce rips him a new one. So... The cop gets an emergency... Well, let's... Justin and Trevor... This is getting... The jukebox... Pretty busy. I got it wrong the first time. I said the play and it was just trickers and rocks. Oops! Did you break another cup? Oh, really? Go, no refill for you. Shh. And now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? You called it. And he's off to go bust some skaters. You're a dick. Don't slap me, bitch. Take your fight club outside. He started it. I'm finishing it. Trevor and Justin must be in love. You predicted a cockroach on the jukebox? I pledge allegiance to Max and the power for which she stands. This isn't a toy, Chloe. I do have to be careful how I use it. Screw that! Of course it's a toy! The best toy ever? You can bang anyone with no strings attached, rewind time, and boom! It's like it never happened! Grow up. Maybe you made a move on me and I would never know. Yes, that's what I did. You can rewind time, Max. That's fucking insane. We have to play. I don't have time. You did not just say that. Uh, check out your nose. Too much blow? Hey, are you okay? Too much excitement. See what happens when we hook up again? Then, let's go to one of my secret lairs and fully test your power. You need a sidekick to guide you. Okay, girl wonder. Show me the way to Chloe's cave. I'm pretty sure there's nothing else for us in here since so we looked at everything. I think I'm ready for thirds. But you're only on your first. I'd love to lecture you My over coffee, but I prefer to drink in silence. Your and stomach solitude. is stocking up for winter. So I'll speak to Chloe. Okay, Supergirl, let's go to my secret place. Don't even answer. We have places to go and people to do. Come on, before Mom starts some more shit, let's bail. It's Kate Marsh from Blackwell. Big whoop. You don't call me once in five years, and now you're all over some biatch you see every day at school? I see how you roll. 
So go ahead, chat up Kate Marsh from Blackwell. I've got other people to hang out with too. Uh, I have to answer this. Hey Kate, what's up? Please, don't let your best friend get in the way. You okay? I promise, Kate, I won't forget. I swear. Just do your homework and don't stress. I really don't think we should go into this right now. I'll call you later, okay? Thanks, Max. If you'd rather chill with Kate, please, go ahead. You are ridiculous. I'm chilling with you, okay? For now. Let's rock. Sucks that Chloe and Joyce got into an argument. Oh, I cut them off. Crap. Look, the guy's stalking us. On the crew. Keep up. How many times are you going to get pissed at me this week? That depends on you and how well you do in this phase of the test. Welcome to American Rust, my home away from hell. Raw and rough. It suits you. Max, do you know how awesome this is? I get my best friend back and she's also super sized. We don't know for how long. Exactly why it's time to have fun. Kidding? After yesterday, I'm kind of over guns, Chloe. <sighs> Freaks me out that you have one. Don't you trust me? Yes, but not that gun. You have more power than an army. Don't be scared of my little toy. Besides, we need it for the test. Drink? Yuck. <laughs> you are so cute. You haven't changed a bit. Okay, let's do this. Can you find five bottles while I prep the shooting range? Beer and guns? <sighs> nice combo. You can handle it. Now go find us five bottles, pretty please. Alright. Well, I'm gonna end it here, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like, comment, if you're subscribed, share. See you next time. And I'm out.